So I just passed the security blue team level one certification a few days ago. And in today's video, I want to give you guys a complete comprehensive breakdown of my honest opinion on the course itself, what to expect, uh, what you guys will learn, whether or not I'd recommend you guys take it as well. So I just wanted to say before we go ahead and get into the video, security blue team did not sponsor me for this video. They didn't pay me a penny uh, to say the things that I'm about to say in this video. It's going to be a completely honest review for my experience. So let's go ahead and start this video by talking about exactly uh, what the security blue team level one certification is and what you guys can expect so this certification is going to teach you everything you would need to know as if you were training to become a security operations center analyst uh, within a SOC um, so this includes different investigation skills and using different tools that I'll elaborate a little bit more in the video later on. So the certificate itself is comprised of six different domains and we'll go over them right now. So the first domain is going to be the security fundamentals and that's just going to teach you the basics of cybersecurity. Domain number two is phishing analysis. This is going to go over exactly how to identify a suspicious phishing email. Domain number three is threat intelligence, understanding exactly how threat intelligence works works how a threat intelligence team operates and gets their intelligence domain number four is digital forensics this one was honestly the most interesting domain to me uh, just because i had the least amount of knowledge on it um, but this goes into using different tools how these forensics teams operate when it comes to an investigation domain number five is the uh, sim this is going to teach you how to query a sim how sims work how alerting works and how to conduct an investigation within a sim domain number six is incident response this is going to teach you exactly how an incident response team operates how it will conduct itself once a incident actually occurs within an organization's environment so let's go ahead and talk about the actual course content so these six different domains are broken down into different sections and these sections contain mostly reading you'll have some videos sprinkled throughout and then lastly once you go to the end of these different sections you'll be tested on your knowledge through different lab environments one of the biggest things that i really enjoyed about this certification is that these lab environments are found directly inside of the browser or the website itself it's really easy to access you just hit start machine and your lab will just spin up and you can go ahead and conduct your analysis and they'll have the questions on the side as well so you can just answer them within the lab if you've ever taken a try hacking me room before it's very similar in the way that it works you just put in your answer and submit it and it'll tell you if you're right or wrong it's a great way in my opinion to test your knowledge I really enjoy this type of course where they give you some reading and some video material and at the end it tests your knowledge. That just fits my way of learning the most. I'm really a hands-on learner. So the reading material itself is broken down into like paragraph forms. It's really sort of bite-sized. They don't use any jargon that you know an entry-level cybersecurity analyst wouldn't know about. So this certification does a great job at giving you that sort of nice balance of sort of sitting back and just understanding information, reading, and watching video tutorials but they also have that balance of that hands-on experience with the labs as well so i really enjoyed that balance with the course material and it really made it easy for me and enjoyable for me to continue going throughout the entire certification i think going through the material itself i did probably around an hour or two per day for i want to say about a month to a month and a half um, so it didn't take me too long as well i wasn't in any rush to kind of complete it so i really enjoyed that flexibility and the content aspect of the certification so now let's go ahead and talk about what you'll actually learn so like kind of the hands-on skills so in my opinion the most valuable part of the certification itself is going to be the tools and the hands-on skills that you'll get from taking this certification in these different labs and the actual exam itself so I'm gonna name off a few of the main tools that you'll learn how to use when taking this certification it's not limited to these tools there's a bunch of more uh, tools that you'll learn throughout the entire certification so the first one is going to be Splunk which is the main sim that they use in the lab and the exam environment so this is going to be teaching you how to query uh, within Splunk and finding different logs in order to further your investigation. And that's going to be the most important skill, I feel like, when it comes to being a security operations center analyst and conducting an investigation. Number two is gonna be using Autopsy, which is like a digital forensics uh, tool that you'll use in order to navigate through 
a disk image and navigate through the file directory and trying to find different artifacts in order to further your investigation as well. Number three is learning how to use PowerShell and Terminal. They're going to teach you the basics like different commands that you can use in order to find different artifacts as well in order to continue your investigation. And number four is Wireshark, which is pretty much a packet analyzer that you can use to understand different connections, uh, different timelines, and really help build out your investigation as well. So let's move on to the actual exam itself. So you're able to actually take the exam whenever you want to. You don't have to finish all the course content in order to take the exam. Uh, but I personally completed all of the course content before I went ahead and felt comfortable taking the exam just because, first of all, I wasn't in a rush to complete the certification. And also, I was actually interested and wanted to learn about all of the different modules within the course content. I finished the course content, like I said before, in about a month to a month and a half. And after that, I went ahead and took about a day or two to brush up on the different labs and the different tooling just to get a refresher. And then from there, I went ahead and began the exam. So this was actually my first 20 24 hour exam you have a 24 hour window to submit your exam you must submit it before the 24 hour period is over so it took me about 10 hours and 20 minutes to complete the entire exam I had multiple breaks throughout I had lunch uh, during my exam as well uh, it's open book you can use your notes that you've taken throughout the entire course so make sure you take some quality notes you can use Google um, if you want to search something up if you forgot something or how to use something um, so there's no pressure on that end. I think the main reason why they wanted to make it an open book, open note exam is because in a real world scenario, if you're a security operations center analyst, you're going to be able to use different resources like Google, maybe some of your coworkers and ask them questions. So they want to sort of simulate the exact same situation as if you were in a real world environment. So the actual exam itself is similar to a real world uh, SOC investigation. There's no multiple choice questions. It's going to be all sort of open ended questions, um, similar to a try hack me room if you had those before, but it's going to be very similar to the labs that you'll do throughout the entire course. So you need to answer 20 questions within 24 hours so you have a lot of time when it comes to conducting this investigation for the exam. There's no rush. Make sure you guys take your time. Really understand what the question is asking. Make sure you type in your answers correctly as well. And just make sure to review your questions once you get your answer. Make sure you're right. Don't overthink things. Those are pretty much going to be my tips when taking the exam. One of the biggest tips that I can give you is before you take the actual exam is to brush up on the tools that you use. One of the things that I really enjoyed about the actual course content is that one of the last modules, they actually explain to you what you should brush up on prior to beginning the exam. They actually tell you what to study and what to brush up on, like the different tooling, the different concepts that you should brush up on prior to starting the exam, which I found really helpful. So one of the biggest tips I can give you is make sure you guys take your time and don't rush into the exam. Make sure you understand everything and make sure you're familiar with the different tools that they actually tell you to get ready for. So the course itself costs 399 British pounds and in US dollars, that's $493. It's a little bit more pricey on the pricey side of things, but um, you can definitely get your employer to do that. So to sum this video all up, what I recommend you take this certification and my simple answer to that is going to be yes. If you're someone who is looking to break into cybersecurity on the blue team side of things, this certification is going to be a great place to start. You're going to get hands-on experience when it comes to the tools that security operations center analysts actually use, like Splunk, Autopsy, and even a lot more tools than that. The content itself was really comprehensive and digestible. It was easy to follow along. There was at no point where I was completely confused. So if you're someone who has no background in cybersecurity, I would highly, highly recommend this course. I can't say it enough. And in my opinion, I think the most value that you get from this certification is going to be through the lab and through the exam, the most hands-on experience. Um, the labs and the exams were the most fun parts of this uh, certification. And even at times during the exam itself, I found myself having fun and really enjoying it. If you guys want to go ahead and check out this certification, I'll leave a link in the description below. Highly recommend this course. I really enjoy taking it. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video provided you with some kind of value and insight if you're considering taking this course. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you're new for more cybersecurity related content. And make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Cyber with Ben for more short form and lifestyle content. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.